Hey world, I want you to check out this Hotel Transylvania 2 makeup look. We're basically leaving the human world and diving into the world of monsters, but don't you worry, you won't look a day over 118. Oh hi humans! I've decided to recreate a look inspired by Mavis from Hotel Transylvania 2. Now this movie will be out in theaters on September 25th, 2015. I personally cannot wait. I love the first one and I can only hope the second one lives up to it. Some great actors are voicing a lot of these characters. We're talking Adam Sandler, Fran Drescher, Andy Sandberg, and well, Selena Gomez is the voice behind Mavis. Now, this makeup look isn't anything too dramatic or over the top. It's something that I've adapted so that you can still wear on a night out. Let's get started. First, you want to prime your face. This will help all the makeup stick and last. Here I'm using MAC's Prep and Prime Beauty Balm. I'm going to start off with my eyes. Here I'm showing you one of my favorite limited edition eyeshadow palettes. It's Corrine Reutfeld's Desert Camouflage for MAC. She's the former editor-in-chief of Vogue Paris. Oh, so chic. I use the color Sahara Dust. It's a pale beige with a frosty finish. I'm working my way from the tear duct to about halfway through. Then I picked up the color Desert, which is a brown with a hint of gray, and I will pat that on towards the middle of my eye. Last but not least, I'm using this matte black called Carbon to go all the way at the end of my eyelid. Using a blending brush, blend all three colors. Make sure you blend well. Only stop once you can no longer tell when one color starts and the next ends. For my mascara, I'm going for Ulta's Amped Lashes. Keep your eyelashes curled longer by starting at the base of your lashes and rotating the brush as you go. Don't forget the lower lashes. To enhance this look, I'm going to bring out my falsies. These right here are just slightly longer than my natural eyelashes. I'm doing this to add a bit more volume. Apply one coat of glue on the rim of the lashes. Wait for a couple of seconds so the glue doesn't run everywhere and then place the strip directly above your natural eyelashes. Get as close as you can and press firmly from end to end. Next, curling time! Position the curler as close as possible to your eyelid without pinching your skin, pumping your way through. You can finish off by applying some more mascara. You can never have too much. This is NYX's Black Liquid Eyeliner. Once the glue is dry, go for a line at the base of your lashes for that bold look we all know Mavis has. You're now looking at one of MAC's Coal Power Eye Pencils Feline. With it, I'm lining the inner rim of my eye. Like Mavis, we really want to rock the eyeliner here. This is CoverGirl's Bombshell Shine Shadow in Ice Queen. I'm going to mix this in with my usual foundation. I use MAC's Face and Body. You don't want to do this on your face though, just use a separate container to stir both colors in. As a vampire, Mavis is pale so this will help soften the color of your foundation. Apply this on your forehead, upper lip, chin, everywhere. Using your beauty blender, blend it all away. Always be gentle with your face. The best way to do this is to bounce and twist. I'm holding Lancome's dual finish powder and using a kabuki brush to set it all in. Now to get those eyebrows on fleek. Take out your brow brush. First, you wanna brush them upwards and later across until you achieve the shape you want. I've decided to use Ulta's Eyebrow Stencil Kit. The color I'm going for is a dark brown. Line up the stencil the best you can over your natural brow. With your brush, go in and gently touch up and fill in your eyebrow. I'm also using Ulta's Brow Tint to darken my eyebrows even further. To bring out some color, I'm going to use MAC's Mineralized Blush Love Rock. I'm going to take my brush and in circular motions, color in the apples of my cheeks softly. We want to be very subtle with the blush for this look. It's just there to define, not really for the color. While Mavis wears black lipstick, I'm going to go for a brighter lip more in tune with everyday wear. I'm going to use a MAC lipstick. This one is called Heroin. Isn't it beautiful? But before I put that on, I want to darken this color just a bit. This is why I'm going to use MAC's Fluid Line in Wholesome. And with an angled brush, I'm going to line my lips first. Then I will apply the lipstick and later with a small lip brush, blend it all. You can put some more lipstick on to work it in. Well, this is it. This is the final look inspired by Mavis from Hotel Transylvania 2. 
If you want a list of all the makeup products I've used, go ahead and check out my blog. I'll put that link in the description box below. Keep looking for your zing as you wait for this movie to hit theaters. And if you don't want to miss a thing, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, my fabulous people. Bye, world!